Hey guys, so today I want to check out Xbox Music app on in iOS or on Android. So I do have my Galaxy Note smartphone here. You can see there, Xbox Music. That's the app that you should be searching for. It's not available on my Samsung Galaxy S4, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, so let's take a quick little look at it here. So this is how it looks once you fire it up here. It will bring up the playlist uh, section. You can create new playlists over here. So you just add a new playlist. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, so let's see here. You can see I didn't add any songs. You can swipe to uh, to the left there to bring up your playlist collection, which is like a place where you can have a collection of all your stuff that you can sync across your different devices like an Xbox maybe. Settings, if you want to avoid cellular data, you should probably remove that. Uh, Xbox Music Pep, Music Paths, it's free, free the first 30 days. Uh, so you can create an account if you want to try it out. But make sure that you don't tap on renew, so or else it will renew your card with money the next 30 days, but you can turn that off. Uh, sync your collection, sign out. Uh, if you go here to decide as well, search for Justin Bieber. So you can search for something that you want to listen to. They should have a lot of songs like Google Music, but it's actually it's not the web offline at the moment. I mean, that, that's like hard. <laughs> it's not the web offline. Wow. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. My World 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can quickly start to play it here. This is how the play uh, page looks like. If you want to see the album art, you just go to the top page. And then if you want to go down here, it will just go down if you tap up there. Uh, you do have a shuffle section, but I can't skip in the song. I'm not sure if that's just because I have the free music pass. It could be because of that. It seems to start to play songs pretty quick though. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network, but no offline at the moment. I mean, that sucks pretty hard. That sucks, that sucks. <laughs> Quite a very, very easy, simple controls down here. And not a laggy UI, you have repeat and clear. You do get some more options in, in the iPhone app, definitely. Uh, so let's see here if we also can have a look if you just go back. If you want to go back, you just tap like that. And uh, let's see here if we go back again. Uh, let's see, we want to add a song to my playlist like Baby. Baby. Oh yeah, baby. No, I can't. Wait a sec, maybe up here. No. Maybe that's not well by Android at the moment. A little bit awkward. That I can't add songs to like a playlist. I mean, it should be in the menu, but it's not. Okay, that's pretty awkward. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's see, maybe if we hold in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, add to mm, boats, cats. Yeah, there we go. And then we can go to my playlist. And then we have a new song here. You can see the nice album art here. And you can just quickly start to play. Of course, probably if you would have more artists in here. Let's see here, is it even playing? Okay, there we go. Uh, if you would have more artists in here, it would definitely will probably like display them in like different album arts in, in a very, very nice way. Uh, you can also see here that it did sync my collection, so it syncs like to various devices. Uh, so that's quite nice. Let's see here all. You can also sort here by artist, uh, by album. Uh, so you can get all the album here used by from Eminem and the uh, songs. You can so if you want to have all the songs ready to go, you can also just go into that. Very, very simple and cool. So do you like this? Do you want to have it? Uh, you can just download it and try it, but you need to get like a Music Pass account first or else you will get problems on the iPhone, like the app will crash and everything. So uh, be sure to have a look at that. Yeah, peace out.